welcome new members Justin T, Dan G, and Gunther. Thank you for your support. It is much appreciated. Hello travelers, Boardman21 here, and today's build is Zolax Multi-Smiter. Now the way this works is we're having Smite proc through several different things. Every time that we lunge at an enemy, Smite will come down and hit that enemy. When we throw the Javelin, we'll be making a banner which will throw out Smites every so often and then we'll also have multi-strike setups where it's doing smites for every stack of armament that we have and so the more enemies you have around you the more smites that can come down based on how many stacks you have so smites coming all over the place and that is why we call it the multi smiter now this build is played as a paladin on the sentinel class and it is very tanky indeed if you are seeing the health drop in the gameplay that's actually just smite consuming some of your health but as you'll notice you leech it back almost instantly you are very very tanky in this especially since you also get to wear a shield and you have a pretty decent block chance as well and multi strike will be giving you lots of flat armor and block effectiveness which is really nice and really going to boost your defense as well so let's go ahead and get into the interactions the skills and just how it all works all right for skills i'm running smite multi-strike javelin holy aura and lunge for smite we do have two extra levels for this the way we have it set up is we want it to be mana free cost so you have to put some points up here which does mean you'll do a little less damage with it than min maxing damage but it has to be free because of the weapon that you're wearing consumes all your mana you're going to be spending most of your time at very very low mana and if your mana ever does fill up it goes right back to zero so we've got two points in holy wave one point in Panacea, one point in Desperate Measures, two points in Blinding Flash, five points in Sacrifice, this is what consumes a huge portion of your life, three points in Atonement, four points in Conviction, two points in Piety, one point in Order of Lagan, and one point in Unbalanced Scale. So then we have Multi-Strike, and for Multi-Strike we're replacing the sword attacks, the extra sword attacks, with extra smites that come down. We have one point in Way of the Sword, but that's for every stack of arm amount that you have. You'll have an additional 150 flat armor and block effectiveness, which is really powerful. One point in Flanking Strikes, one point in Hollowed Arsenal. This is what allows, instead of a sword attack to happen, that a smite will come down instead. One point in Perfect Steel for an extra max stack of armament. 3 points in Relentless Advance, 3 points in Determination, 4 points in Sweeping Blows for extra target area, and 1 point for Victory Strikes so that you can have an additional Smite if you get a kill. With how powerful the Smites are, they do get kills, so you get a lot of extra Smites this way. For Javelin, we have this set up for the banner and so that it will cast Smites for us as well. We have 2 points in Mighty Delivery, 1 point in Burning Strength, 1 point in Siege Barrage, 1 point in Battle Standard, 4 points in Ardent Symbol, 1 point in Divine Intervention, and 5 points in Righteous Descend so that you get Smite 100% more frequently. And it's going to have basically 100% crit chance when it comes from the Javelin, from the banner, because this is on top of the base crit chance we have inside the skill tree as well. Now, you do get some extra bonus because we took the battle standard that for every point of attunement, you have increased damage and increased armor, which is huge. If you have 100 points of attunement, you'll have 400% increased armor, which is absolutely ridiculous. We also have 5 points in Banner of Restoration, which is going to give you 100 healing per second increased by healing effectiveness. So when you're inside the area of battle standard, it's definitely very effective because it's going to give you all those benefits for the extra damage and armor and also just a massive amount of healing, which will really boost your survivability on top of all the leech that you will have. For Holy Aura, we have this set up so that you get extra crit chance, crit multi, and then of course for defense. So we got 5 points in Shelter from the Storm for that Elemental Resist and Endurance. 2 points in Vital Boom for the Health Regen. 2 points in Rayal's Devotion for some Ignite Chance. 4 points in Fanaticism for the Attack Speed. 4 points in True Strike for the Crit Chance. And 3 points in Extreme Zeal for that extra Critical Strike Multiplier. Remember, all these bonuses are doubled when it is active. And then for lunge, we have this set up to be invulnerable while lunging, and it will proc a smite force. It's also going to reduce the cooldown of lunge when you use multi-strike so that you can use it more often. we got one point in dawn charge, four points in juggernaut dash, one point in unstoppable, three points in warrior's renewal, two points in endless will, two points in initiate's onslaught, three points in cool the weak, and four points in holy incursion, so that you can have up to three smites come down on lunge, if there are nearby targets. 
For passives, we have 20 points in the base Sentinel class with 8 points in Fearless, 5 points in Armor Clad, 3 points in Relentless, 2 points in Valiant Charge, and 2 points in Time and Faith. And we have 11 points in the Void Knight, 10 points in Abyssal Endurance, and 1 point in Void Corruption. This will give us a little more Critical Strike Multiplier, but it also covers a lot of our defense and gives us more health. And then 82 points in the Master Paladin with 8 points in Conviction, 8 points in Defiance, 1 point in Honor, 10 points in Heaven Fire. So we are using a shield in this build, which means we got a lot of adaptive spell damage for that Smite this way. 10 points in Dedication for the Attunement and the Mana Regen. 8 points in Sanctuary Guardian for additional armor, since we will have a shield, and more adaptive spell damage. 8 points in Faith Armor, 10 points in Holy Precision for that spell critical strike chance, and our lightning skills will have a 100% increased critical strike multiplier. 12 points in Revelance of Duality, and 7 points in Light of Rhea. Alright, for idols, items, uniques, blessings. So for the idols, typical idols, we have the increased damage with smite. Feel free to get four of those on for as much damage increase as possible. For the one by twos, you can do critical strike chance, you can do flat health, you can do increased health. Lots of options there. You can also cover resistances if for some reason you don't have them on gear covered already. For uniques... I am currently running four uniques, but you don't really need any of them other than the Devotion. However, the way this is set up, two of them are kind of necessary, and all, and then there's two that are not. So, first off, Cold Navarre's Claim. Now, this one's kind of important for the build. One, it does a lot of spell lightning damage, which is really nice for lightning smite. However, you don't have to use it. You just want to make sure you have something that will consume your mana a lot more than if you are if you're not using this. And the reason for this. When your mana fills up, this will consume it automatically and give you ward, which puts you back to low mana. The reason that's beneficial is Devotion is going to completely give you massive amounts of adaptive spell damage and cast speed per amount and percentage of mana that you're missing. So it's really effective if you have Devotion to have something that's going to consume your mana. If you don't have Clonavar's Claim, then you're going to need to make your skills more expensive or have another skill, say Judgment, in place of a Lunge so that you can have something that spends your mana and keeps you low to really get that benefit from all the additional adaptive spell damage that you can have. Now, you can wear the Prison Wraps. This will give you a lot more Elemental Leech when you do crits since you will be critting just about 100% of the time. Again, this chest will not matter, especially if you have the Blessing where you leech a percentage of spell damage already. You don't need this. What you can do, you can do any crafted chest you want and take advantage of extra health and attunement on that, which will give you uh, more mana and it will also give you, of course, more damage based on that. Then we have the Storm Tide. Again, this unique, not needed, but it does do a lot of shock chance, which is going to allow you to do even more damage to enemies. But again, the Storm Tide, the Prison Wraps, not necessary, but they are beneficial. The other two, the Devotion and Cold and Forest Claim, highly recommended. For the rest of these, I'm just going to hover over them. You can take a look at them in the build planner, which is linked below in the description, and it will be linked in the written guide. And then for blessings, nothing super important except for, like I said, the spell damage leeches health is a big one, so make sure you get that from Rhea. After that, everything else is just come and go as you want. If you want more defense, you can get critical strike avoidance, increased armor, flat armor, all of, all of those things from your blessings. You'll just have to get them as you do the bosses. Alright, for the character sheet, you can see we have just about 2200 health. We are capped on all resistances. It does help to get that 75% on the shield. We got about 30% armor, but this is going to spike way up. Especially, it's going to have even more than I have here if you have the right blessings that give you increased and flat armor. For block, you can see we have a 42% chance to block hits, which is going to be another 28% damage reduction. This block effectiveness will go up. You can almost double that amount when you use multi-strike a few times to get your stacks of armament. And then we have about 300% lightning damage. Now, remember, this armor is going to go up, one, when you use the banner, and two, when you actually use multi-strike. So if I just throw the banner out here, you will see that our armor goes up to almost 50%. If we use, and that's a percent increase. Now, if we use multi-strike and get more flat, that's going to go up even more you can get to about 60 70 percent armor damage reduction without even having the armor blessings if you get the armor blessings for more flats and more increased it'll be up even higher and you can almost cap it out which is a lot a lot of damage reduction all right now for damages one thing that you should note the smite as you have less mana it goes down so our tooltip when our mana is full right there you can see we have a 72,000 smite tooltip now when our mana is empty like it is now it doubles 
we have 155,000 damage tooltip. So it's very, very, very beneficial to stay as low mana as you can. And again, once your mana fills up, the Cold Navarre's Claim will automatically consume it all, putting it back in a low stance. That's why we want to make most things free. All right, for skill rotation and how to use the build, I like to put Holy Ore and Lunge both on autocast. And then we go ahead and throw down a banner when you really want to do good damage. You can manually cast Smite if you want, or in this case, you can use Multi-Strike. But again, we're single target here, so Multi-Strike's not going to be procking it against one target. If you miss, you can occasionally get it to proc, but you just manually cast against single targets. You throw out your banner, and you can see that you can get going really good damage here. Now again, the banner is not actually attacking the training dummy because it doesn't count as an enemy. But if it was, and we were using Multi-Strike, we would have multiple Smites going off right now, which would be absolutely crazy. And that'll be it for this build guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, stay safe, travelers, and enjoy some gameplay.